If I wanted to get pregnant next year, these are the five things I would have my partner do because male factor fertility is obviously half the equation and sperm health can make or break implantation. Now we also talk about miscarriage risk and embryo quality. Now first of all, he needs to treat his mitochondrial health like it matters because sperm are literally powered by mitochondria. Now mitochondria are the little engines in the cells that includes sperm cells. And if sperm can't swim, can't penetrate the egg or carry high DNA fragments, that's a mitochondrial problem and not just a count problem. Second, he has to get serious about inflammation. Most men walk around with silent inflammation from alcohol, processed food, poor sleep and stress and inflammation in men directly damages sperm DNA. It also slows down motility and increases the risk of early miscarriage. So yes, he needs to eat anti-inflammatory as much as you do with real protein, real omega-3s and also daily movement. Don't underestimate this. This is not a nice idea. These are all non-negotiables. And if you're new here, hi, I'm Carmen. I'm a fertility nutritionist and I help usually women in my fertility circle over there with a fertility program to repair the systems behind conception, hormones and fertility. So you can get pregnant and stay pregnant and deliver a baby. And the next one is something you will hear me over and over again preaching in my fertility circle because this applies to you as much as it applies to him. Fixing blood sugar is Again, non-negotiable. Men overestimate their metabolism and underestimate how insulin resistance torpedoes testosterone and drops sperm quality. Now, stable blood sugar means stable hormones and stronger sperm and stronger egg quality. That is for you. Now, number four on the list is that also he needs to obviously protect his testicles. Don't wear tight underwear, no sauna or hot bath for hours. Don't put the laptop on the lap. I know nobody does it anymore, but let's put it on the list. And really remove the phone in the pocket as well. And no long hours of sitting without breaks. Heat kills, literally kills sperm quality very fast. And the recovery time is 72 to 90 days. Number five. Supplements, but only after the foundation is pleased without knowing any blood work, but there are two supportive staples, omega-3 and zinc, because they reduce inflammation, protect sperm membranes and improve sperm count and motility. Vitamin C is also really, really powerful. I know it's simple, but it's an amazing antioxidant. It can lower DNA fragmentation. 